Ladies and gentlemen, vampires, they come in different forms. Not necessarily the ones you see in the movies with the teeth, but they use seduction. Uh, they use fame, fortune. They're part of rituals. And I want to talk about, again, a little bit, the power of the blood, Jesse, if you don't mind. The power of the blood, the magic that's in the blood, and what the Lord says about it. If you don't mind, you know, just getting into that a little bit, please. Yeah. Um, so the first thing Scripture says about it is that there is no forgiveness of sins without um, without the shedding of blood. So, you know, at its core, um, th when Jesus came in the flesh and that blood was given as a sacrifice, it was given to appease the wrath of God on behalf of all the sin of all mankind. Um, in Revelations, it says that, you know, it tells us about the power that you know, the Lamb of God who gave his blood, he's worthy because by that blood he purchased every man, every woman, every tribe, and every tongue to be a kingdom of priests unto the Lord. And, you know, what was what what's behind that sacrifice, you know, is is that by that blood we are cleansed, we are healed, we are forgiven, and we have life. And that life ultimately you know, is with the Lord, that we're one with him. And um, so that's what the enemy tries to take, you know, through these sacrifices and through this mockery, um, you know, is is they're indulging in that life that God has freely given that's meant to be abundant and eternal. And, you know, they take it unto death and make it a horrific thing with the sacrifices and, you um, the offerings and the ritual killings. And so, you know, really it's a huge mockery and blasphemy against yeah. the Lord.